Hi folks, it's Bill Wade. On this short video I want to talk a little bit about uh, air gauges. Your typical air compressor has two gauges and their purpose is to give you indication as to what's happening in your compressed air system. This photo shows the two gauges on my do-it-yourself air compressor with the blue arrow pointing to the tank gauge. The blue arrow is now pointing to the nipple coming out of the air tank on my compressor. The air flows from the tank up to that gauge, the tank gauge. It also flows into the base of the pressure switch, which is right over the uh, gauge. And to the right of that, that brass thing is the pressure relief valve. And to the left, the air flows from the uh, pressure switch over to the regulator. And there's the regulator gauge that controls or indicates what the pressure is that you've set for the downstream application. You can turn that pressure up and down uh, to supply the right air pressure for your air tool. Compressed air gauges are not expensive devices as I mentioned. And because they're inexpensive to manufacture, they also tend to fail as the compressed air gets up inside the gauge, the compressed air is warm and wet, and ultimately inside the gauge the, the components rust and the gauge fails, and or perhaps you might have a broken gauge from impact of some sort. Is The gauge can be a bottom mount gauge as per this individual one, or it can be a back mount or a rear mount gauge like this one is. All gauges have similarities in that they'll have a dial on the front which gives you a pressure range. In this case, this one goes from 0 to 300 PSI. And this one goes from 0 to 200 PSI. In terms of your do-it-yourself air compressor, it doesn't matter what the gauge dial says as long as it's got the complete range of pressure of your compressor. If your air compressor kicks in at 80 and kicks off at 120 PSI, as long as the range goes from 0 to 150, that's ample range for your uh, compressor. Make sure before you replace your gauge, you drain all the air out of the compressor tank, 0 PSI, and unplug it to make sure it can't start. You simply unthread the gauge from the uh, compressor housing, whatever it's connected into. Note that there are some wrench flats here so that you can get a wrench on the gauge to apply the force necessary to pull it off. Unscrew it off, uh, take the new gauge, what I recommend is a little bit of liquid paste. Generally use Teflon tape all the time myself as it has some potential for some problems, but if that's all you've got, remember you're turning the gauge in this way when you install it, and or you're turning it in this way when you install it, so you want to wrap the tape this way so that as you're turning it in, the tape stays on the thread at the back. Screw it in tight. Give it another half turn or so or orient it to where you want to see it with the wrench and that should be ample in terms of replacing your gauge. The air gauge is going to have a fitting on it. As I mentioned, it's either going to be on the bottom or on the back. In this case, these are quarter inch NPT threads. The gauge on your compressor may be quarter inch, maybe one eighth, maybe larger, maybe smaller. Uh, if you're not quite sure how NPT thread sizes relate to real world uh, measurements, uh, www.aboutaircompressors.com has a complete page or pages all about NPT sizes and how they work together. The uh, gauge on your compressor may not look exactly like this. It could be actually in some sort of a manifold on your compressor so that all you're seeing is the face. Uh, rest assured though that the gauge is going to look similar to these two when you get them off. You may need to remove the, the uh, paneling or the shrouding from your compressor to see how the gauge is actually connected. And uh, doing so then you're going to see something like these two gauges that are here. Recognize that they start General purpose do-it-yourself gauges around one and a half inch in diameter or 40 millimeter and they generally go up from there although all of the do-it-yourself air compressors I've seen have this same size um, gauge on them. Reason being they're mass produced by the gazillions somewhere in the world that ends in CHINA and um, they are dirt cheap. Expect to pay yeah, somewhere between $5 and $10 for a replacement gauge. Any more than that for a basic gauge you're getting ripped off. Um, you can buy good gauges. You can buy 
stainless steel air gauges. You can buy uh, specialty air gauges, but for your typical do-it-yourself air compressor, no point in spending that kind of money. Every now and again when your gauge starts to act funny or the, or the gauge face cracks or something, simply go out there and pick up another one. Just know that uh, they're available almost any hardware store. Just be aware when you're looking at the gauge that it's got the same threads as the one that you want to replace to make it easy for you and also that it's got the same pressure range or pretty close to that.